Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of our Minecraft Let's Play. A uh, <laughs> long awaited episode, it has been about a week since our last episode and uh, that's just because of um, the holiday season, a lot of things happening, um, personal things, I got a new computer so I had to get that all set up and ready to uh, record this, how to transfer worlds, um, and yeah, a lot has happened on the uh, channel as well. Last time I uh, made an episode, episode 3, we had, oh let's see here, about 60 subscribers. Uh, now we are up to 200 and, uh, 250, almost 260, so that is amazing. Um, I, I don't know how I got this far, but I am very pleased with the uh, uh, results so far. But, um, yeah, so on my, uh, right before uh, I got a new computer, I recorded this episode. Um, I recorded it on my old computer, um, but I didn't get that much done, and it, it was really, the episode wasn't that really, um, well, what I'm trying to say is not many, much progress was made in that episode. So I decided that instead of just, um, uh, recording half the episode, on my old computer and half the episode on a new computer, I would just uh, go ahead and start off um, by showing what I've done on that last episode and uh, um, not even worrying about trying to transfer some stuff from that old computer and hold hard drive. So uh, this holds new. Uh, let's go ahead and drop in and you'll uh, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> okay, that math lo that mouth looks really funny, but um, yeah. So the idea that I talked about in the last episode that to put right here was, of course, a uh, um, pixel art face of my skin, which is indeed an Enderman. So uh, you can see the resemblance, maybe. <laughs> I tried to use I had to use the resources that were available to me, so I had to use the um, the cactus farm. It actually got into use, and let's go ahead and check to see how this is doing while we're here. Eight cactus, that's, all right, it's working, that's good. Um, and then I also cleared out the ceiling a little bit, did a, uh, a pattern going upwards. I'm not sure if I like it. Uh, I might change some things. Uh, of course, that looks a little messy, but that's because that's where the hole is. Um, and let's see here. Uh, I don't remember if I put in this fence last time. I'm not even done with it, so I'm gonna finish this soon too. Actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and, um, do this but uh how are you guys doing um <laughs> i am actually doing great um super stoked about um playing on new computer as you can see um i changed the resolution of the video we're now um, recording in 720 um this is still running cool um got a new texture pack on uh this is the old fake full texture pack i uh if i remember i'll put it in the description it's a uh, it's a really cool texture pack um I used to use it before, and I decided that I would uh, bring it back because it does um, keep the uh, original retro Minecraft vanilla kind of textures, um, but it does add a little bit of um, variety into it, and uh, yeah, so I like it. But um, so what are we gonna do this episode? Um, for one, I want to make some more fences, so let's go ahead and just use all that up because we need a couple. Is that gonna? That's not going to be enough. Let's see here. Oh, it takes so many sticks to make such a small amount of fences. All right. So, also, you might be able to hear the difference. Um, I got my microphone to uh, stop making that buzzing, hissing, whatever hand noise in the background. <laughs> um, someone suggested that I try Audacity to fix that. Um. I I never really did try that because of me trying new computers, but um or me getting a new computer. The second I got a new computer, um, whoops, <laughs> I didn't do that. But the second I got a new computer, and it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, whenever I got a new computer and tried recording, I noticed that the hissing sound was gone. So um that only lets me believe that um or leads me to believe that uh that hissing sound probably came from a uh, sound card that I had in the uh, computer. It was an older computer, so um, this new sound card seems to fix the problem. 
uh, which is cool. About that mouth, we might be able to do that today. Um, that mouth looks kind of funny, um, but my idea for that would be to, um, or was to, um, make it where we can toggle waterfall, like a waterfall there, water coming out of the mouth. It looks like I'm throwing up water, but <laughs> it might look cool to put a little water feature uh, along with this pond, so the pond's just not sitting here. It's just like, you know, it's coming from somewhere. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe we'll go ahead and put some redstone, or, yeah, we might be able to make it controllable right here. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> make it controllable right here, so we can just flip a switch and water starts coming out, maybe. Um, let's see here, what else, what else can we do to control it? We can put it on a timer to where it, like, randomly, um, starts puking water. Alright, that, that, that doesn't really sound good. Where it starts, like, um, you know, spitting out water. Um, I do really like this drop here, though, because instead of having to walk around, we have to get out that way. But whenever we want to drop in, we just have to find this spot, and there we go. <laughs> I like that, but... I'm going to go ahead and uh, gather our resources together so we can uh, try to work on this maybe. And uh, maybe we'll get around to uh, making that storage area today. Uh, this episode, uh, I really, uh, really just wanted to give an update about uh, everything that's happening on the channel. And everything that's happening with uh, me and the holidays. Um, I hope you had a great Christmas. And uh, I'm actually recording this on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or whatever. Um, so this might be out by tonight. Uh, when everyone's staying up to uh, celebrate the New Year's. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the resources together, and uh, we'll see about uh, adding a little waterfall here. Alright guys, I have gathered the materials we need. Um, let's see here. Uh, what we need to do now is build some pistons, so let's make sure we get these set up. Um, we're going to need, mm, let's see, I think it's three pistons, I believe. Yeah, three pistons for the mouth um, so we can regulate the water and I just remembered that um, we actually don't have any um, slime balls yet so we're going to have to modify this to where we don't have to use um, uh, sticky pistons so um, we can always fix this later on if I remember or if you guys remind me <laughs> but um we're going to have to modify this to only use regular pistons. And I dug out a little path in the back here. And let's go ahead and patch this up because I wanted, to, I had to pop out to see where I was to make sure I got this uh, right. This is actually one stair. Oops. Let's break this. Oh. Mm. Okay, let's see here. That works. All right. Uh, that's how. All right, this is how the math is going to look. Um, basically, back here is where the pistons are going to retract, and they're going to let water through, and it's just going to come out into the uh, place or the uh, the pond here. So let's go ahead and put the pistons in, um, and we can repair the rest of this. Uh, I'm going to come back here and light it up once we finish. Um, but for now, this will work, um, and I believe this will work, um, and I just trapped myself in here, <laughs> uh, let's see here, um, we're also going to put the water in, so let's go ahead and break that, and then we're going to cover this up so the water doesn't get to any of the redstone, and, alright, alright, that should... Does that create a water source here? Mm, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and grab one just in case. Ooh, I don't know how this is gonna look yet because I haven't I haven't tried this yet. But hopefully it'll look. Yeah, that fixed it. Hopefully this will look okay. Um, I mean we can always change it later. I want you guys' opinions on this. Um, you guys have been really great about commenting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been really good on commenting, uh, like on the last video, but um, I, I guess that'll work. We can always change it, I guess, but uh, I want your comments, so um, it'll help me out on uh, deciding what, what we should do on our base here. So let's go ahead and add the redstone in, and I grabbed a repeater 
just in case we need a repeater, and I believe we do. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Uh, let's put a repeater right there, just in case. And if we want to bring it out here, we're going to need we're going to need to put that there. Now we are. I think I am planning on expanding this way uh, at some point, so we are going to have to move this, or may have to move the button, or figure something out. But for now, this will work. Um, let's make ourselves uh, make ourselves a lever so that we may turn the thing on and off and this should um, if we did this right turn off the water and yeah and it did awesome now how does it look when the pistons are attracted now from up here you can't tell but I think if you actually from here it's fine too if you actually get really close to it you can see the pistons and I need to replace those with coal blocks I'm not I'm okay with you being able to see the pistons but uh, this needs to be a cold block. Kind of a waste, but I guess it's kind of a OCD thing. And you can kind of see the... Oh, and you can see stone back there as well. <sighs> hmm. I guess if I, had the, if I had the materials, or if I... Yeah, if I had black wool, I could cheap out and put black wool back there. Because you wouldn't be able to tell, I don't think. Oh, but for now this will work. Yeah, and there's a little bit of stone there, um, but I don't have the coal blocks right now. I actually had to steal these coal blocks out of our um, furnace over here. So we don't have any coal blocks left. Um, I don't even think we have... Um, yeah, we have a little bit of coal left. But, um, yeah, we need to go mining um, in the near future. But I'll do that off camera, probably in between the episodes. Um, but yeah, that looks cool. Um, we can come by and flip the little lever and we have a little water feature I guess it kinda looks funny but I don't know maybe we can change it let's see what it looks like when we take out these ah yeah, give it back there we go alright let's see what it looks like when we take out those and then we're gonna have to turn on and off the waterfall to reset it to update the water so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, does that look better? Mm hmm. 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 Now we could take out these as well. Maybe that would look better? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss here. Alright, for now we're just going to keep it like this. then we get that underneath hmm I don't know uh, let me know what you think about that um, because I'm kind of at a loss of whether or not uh, what to do there um, we could just take it out completely and make it just a blank face uh, actually I can show you what that looks like uh, actually I don't have any coal left um, it look I, I found I found that it looked kind of bland with um, no mouth there it's just like this black you know um, square here that um I mean there was nothing messing it up or whatever the top of the head's fine because you know it's the top of the head but there should be a mouth there so I feel like it it needs a mouth um but um hmm uh I think the next thing we should work on is um actually I don't think I showed you guys this um last episode the episode that I recorded on my old computer I found a skeleton spawner, and this is the work of an enderman. Hmm. I did not place that there. Uh, last episode, I actually found a skeleton spawner really close um, when I was mining, because as I said, I uh, did a lot of mining off camera, um, and the world's not really loading back there for some reason. But uh, we can actually see the village from here because um, with my new computer and everything I'm able to max out the settings which is awesome and I believe that turning it to 16 actually doesn't change anything I believe that is a bug where anything above 12 actually doesn't affect the render distance but um, I guess we can test that out now to see um, what it does uh, and the village is loading 
everything else around us is loading. Hmm. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go find that spawner. It is uh, directly underneath the um, the village over there. So I'm going to go gather some materials, and uh, how about we make ourselves a uh, XP farm. So uh, I will be right back uh, once I've gathered some materials and uh, headed over there to the skeleton farm. All right, guys, I just wanted to mention that um, before we go over there, uh, I need to gather some materials. And I thought I would mention that to those who don't, know how to make a skeleton farm or any uh, um, mob XP farm from a spawner it is very simple um, all you really need is um, about probably a little bit more science let's see here um, we might need to make more when we're over there but that won't be a problem if we have to um, the only things you really need are um, a couple signs and I almost made trap doors there uh, about Probably 15 signs will do. Um, I want to make one more set just in case. Um, you just need a lot of signs, which are really cheap because they're just made of wood. And you need a couple buckets. Uh, you only need two, or actually, you really only need one if you wanted to uh, transfer the water that much. But um, the more buckets you have, the quicker you'll be able to um, um, finish the farm and move water around. So I'm going to make. Uh, four buckets, we already have one, so that makes five buckets for us. Um, um, by the way, that's our diamond count right now, 27, that's amazing. But, um, uh, that has nothing to do with the skeleton farm. Um, so just a couple signs, uh, water buckets, make sure you fill at least two of the water buckets with water so you can make an infinite source, which uh, we will make once we get over there. And I'm going to go ahead and fill these up, um, even though they don't stack, so it's going to fill up our inventory a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'm going to head over to the skeleton farm, or uh, soon-to-be skeleton farm, and uh, we can go ahead and get to work. Alright, guys, here we are at the uh, skeleton farm. Uh, I've already cleared out all the uh, mossy cobble. Uh, last time I was here, I grabbed that, and uh, I also grabbed what was in this chest. Um, but when you're building a spawner, um, skeletons can spawn three above the uh, spawner, three to the... Um, left, right of uh, the spawner, and three down. Uh, so you want to dig that area out. Um, so you want to make sure you have um, three blocks going to the left. So you just need to clear this side out. Uh, three blocks to the um, uh, each side. Um, in most cases, the, uh, the spawner, um, two sides are already... Oh, there we go. Got a skeleton spawn off. Um... In most cases, the uh, I think all of the spawners actually, um, two of the sides are already three blocks away, so you don't need to worry about that. But um, for the other two, you're just going to have to clear out the wall, and um, you're going to need to uh, dig three up if it's not already, and then you need to actually dig four down, which I'll talk about in a second. You're going to need to dig four down um, so that we can uh, put a water stream at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out, and uh, we'll come back once. I've uh, done a little bit more work on this. Alright guys, I have cleared the area out. Um, I actually thought about uh, taking out all the walls and making it all cobble. Um, but then I realized that we're never going to come in here, so um, there's really no point unless you're really uh, that worried. Or um, maybe you want to make a, a little viewing area with glass. Um, if you do do that, do do that. If you are wanting to put glass... Um, like a glass window to see this skeleton spawning. Uh, the only thing I want to um, let you know is that um, make sure that you um, uh, don't let any light come into here because if there's any light whatsoever in here that'll affect the spawning rate so you won't get um, as many skeletons spawning so it's really not worth um, the uh, um, skeletons what am I trying to say? It's not worth um, affecting the spawn rates and getting less skeletons just so you can work with aesthetics. So you can put a window in, just make sure that it uh, doesn't affect the spawn rates. So, um, And I just talked about not worrying about turning this all cobble and I'd come up here and take out the dirt. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, whichever direction you want to go in to make your um, 
room or whatever that they drop in because that's what we're going to be doing today is uh, making a dropper style um, spawning XP farm. Uh, it's the easiest if you don't have a lot of redstone resources and it's also a lot simpler if you don't want to worry about it. Um, but all you have to do is place a uh, water stream over here, water stream over here. You see how it uh, kind of sends everything to the center here. And then these blocks right here, right where the water stream stops, you want to break that block right underneath it. And then you want to break all these blocks so the water continues. And as you'll see, all everything that drops into here will be flowed straight into these two blocks right here. So that's what we want. Um, uh, do you want to take that and put it like that? Uh, go out a couple blocks because you want to send the skeletons away from the spawner so that more will spawn because the spawner has a, uh, a radius that it checks for and if any skeletons are in that radius it won't spawn anymore uh, it helps if you're trying to take over a spawner that a million spawn or skeletons don't spawn but in our case we want to send the skeletons away from the spawner as fast as we can so that we can um, get more spawn rates so it'll make it faster so, uh, take it off like this as soon as you get to the end of the stream take one of those handy dandy signs and we will put a sign at the bottom and at the top like that and put a push a water there and as you'll see the water stream kind of flows up into the water doesn't really make sense but it, it uh, it's what we need and once the skeleton um, come into this block they will automatically swim up so we will take out the block above and then all you have to do now is about for about 24, 20, maybe 26 blocks, go up and uh, alternate sign water, sign water. So uh, we're, right now we're just going to place a sign here. Um, I actually need to build a infinite water source. So I'm going to take this out, place a sign here. And let's find out where that cave is. I don't, I think I just lost it. doesn't really matter where the cave is. We're going to build our own little room here at some point. So. Uh, all we need to do for the water source is I'm going to just do the three three block long and then just take out the middle source so infinite water source um, I'm going to continue to whoops <laughs> I'm going to going to continue to uh, make my way up uh, like I said about 26 blocks I think is the um, uh, distance you need to go um, to drop them about 24 blocks to uh, to their death or almost near death. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and build it up. Uh, once I get to the top of the 24 blocks, I will show you what to do up there. Um, this is a tutorial kind of for those who don't um, know how to build a spawner, but also if you do know how to build a spawner, um, I hope this isn't too boring for you that I try to explain uh, what I'm doing. So. I'm going to build up and uh, we'll uh, um, come back once I've built all the way up there. Alright guys, once you uh, make it up the uh, 24 blocks, what we're going to do now is um, uh, instead of placing the uh, 25th block here, the, uh, the sign that would go here, uh, I'm just going to dig to the side here, let the water flow, so once they come up they will automatically flow to the side, go out um, about maybe four blocks or so right here will do. Uh, place another sign here uh, so that it gets pushed into this block and here's where we just drop down. Uh, now you want to count about uh, I think it's 24 blocks. Um, we'll uh, knock the skeleton down to one heart uh, hopefully if we do this right. Uh, so I'm gonna dig down 24 blocks. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh, we went the wrong way. I can't believe I just did that. I'm gonna go fix this. Fix this. Uh, one sec. <laughs> I thought I heard something. <laughs> uh, as I said, we did go the wrong direction, so uh, instead of going that way, we're just going to head this way, so we go away from the spawner, not right onto it. So, uh, same thing, we're just going to dig out a couple blocks, 
Um, place another sign here. I'm gonna run into a cave this time. And there's a creeper. I don't want you. Get away. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's light this up a little bit. Um, if you do really want to make your skeleton farm effective, not effective, um, more efficient. Wow, there's creepers everywhere. Oh, he almost exploded. No. Do it. Don't do it. Oh. Ah! <laughs> um, any mob farm, if you light up the, uh, caves around it, it'll, um, make it to where the only mobs that can spawn are in the skeleton farm. Um, but since this is only a, uh, a, um, temporary thing, uh, not, we're not gonna take it down, but, um, at some point we are gonna make a, uh, more efficient... Oh, that's right, there's, there's a village above us. I was like, how are there villagers down here? <laughs> um, like I said, we are right, um, below a village, so, um, which I believe I found in the last episode. Ooh. Yeah. Episode two, I think we found that. Episode three. I don't know. If not, there's a village up there. <laughs> so we're just going to go down 24 blocks. One, two, actually, before we do that, um, actually, we can get this water out of here. We don't need that anymore. Um, so I guess I was right about the signs. We did use about, um, I don't know. 15, 16, actually we do 16 and 2 or something. Let's go ahead and close this off so that our skeletons don't escape once we uh, send them through this and we'll place the last, oh, give it to me, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, we want to make sure our skeletons can't escape once they get up here, so we're going to close that off. Um, mm, let's go ahead and fill this in so that no mobs can spawn. Break that, and let's dig down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Nice. All right. Um. So you drop them 24 blocks, and it should get them down to one heart. Uh, all we have to do now is, I think this is where the skeleton spawner is. Yeah. Alright. Let's dig to the right once we get down there. So, I believe that's right, but... Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, here's skeleton. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and go down there, uh, get the um, get this set up. Um, let's go ahead and oh 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 I thought, <laughs> didn't mean to place a sign. I was like, what just happened? But um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure out what we need to do. I hear a lava lake. That's not good. All right, there's where the skeleton spawner is. So we did this right. Uh, we want to be close to the skeleton spawner, but kind of away from it. I think the radi um, radius is 15 blocks that you need to take it away, but I'm not sure. Um, so we're just going to fill that in, and I'm going to make a little room here so that we can uh, um, be able to um, have a nice area to stand while the skeletons drop down to their deaths. <laughs> Alright guys, it's time for the big reveal. Let's go ahead and take out the torches, and uh... <laughs> hope that this thing works. Now, once we break all the torches, I'm going to have to run because I do not want to get trapped in here. And let's get that, that, that. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go, they're spying. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Alright. Here's our ladder system, I believe. Yep, here's our ladder. I built a ladder going all the way up. We ran out of ladders at the very top, so there are three, um, three spots where the ladders don't uh, quite reach. Alright, he died because he was attacking other skeletons, so let's see if we can get... Alright, that one was also fighting other skeletons. Now, it might take a little bit to get this right, so these skeletons should be the ones that haven't gotten hurt yet. Mmm. Come on. Okay, let's 
place for the block. Alright, he died too. Let's see here. <laughs> Might have dropped him too far. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Alright, the spawner's right here, I think. Nope. Well, that is part of the spawn. Alright, he also died, so... Alright, one sec. <laughs> Don't die. Come on. Yay! <laughs> Finally. Oh, thank goodness. That was taking forever. I actually had to build up a couple. Um, a lot, actually. I, had to, I was off by a lot when I thought it was right here um, so I'm gonna build the room up here um, in between episodes because this episode's already getting way too long um, so I'm gonna head back uh, to our base and we will uh, get a comment for the episode uh. hey how's it going hey I don't think I've ever gotten this close to a bat <laughs> he's like his AI is messing up or something <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh, he's going back down. <laughs> All right, guys, this is going to be the end of episode four. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, we got a lot of work done today. Um, uh, we got this thing finished up. Uh, added a uh, uh, toggable waterfall, which is uh, awesome. Um, and, uh, we made a skeleton, uh, XP farm, so we'll be able to get a lot of XP, um, we'll be able to, uh, make that micro farm I talked about soon, uh, I talked about making a micro farm instead of this, um, we can get rid of this and, uh, be able to, uh, compact it into a micro farm. If you don't know what that is, it's where, um, you basically, uh, just, you make a farm using just bone meal, so you have to bone meal the things, and it's, uh, uh, kind of automatic <laughs> and uh, it's kind of hard to explain but if you just look up Myco a farm on YouTube it'll uh, come up with uh, some cool ideas so we'll be able to build that soon um, be able to get a lot of XP speaking of XP um, I want to uh, name this pick so when we repair it because this is a really good working pick um, I want to be name it so whenever we repair it it won't cost many levels uh, and also, we'll, uh, it won't uh, cost more levels the more we repair it. If you didn't know, if you don't rename a pick and you just use a regular pick and you keep uh, repairing it and repairing it, it'll cost more and more unless you name it. Um, so I want to name this pick. If you have any ideas for the uh, um, for a pick name, uh, put it down in the comments. I do appreciate your comments. Um, uh, let me know what you think about the waterfall <laughs> um, mouth thing, and uh, let me know what you think this pick should be called. So, uh, your comments are appreciated, and speaking of comments, I have a comment for today, a very long one, uh, this one is by Foxy Socks, and I actually played with Foxy Socks on a uh, Mindplex, so uh, that's when he's talking about Mindplex in here, so he says, Foxy Socks here, like Nick F, another person who commented on the video, uh, I would also love to play with you sometime. We played on the Mineplex, but it would be really cool to play on your world. Other than that, I'm really anxious to see how this world goes. Make a lot of videos fast, Foxy Sock. Hey, I ran out of letters, so I had to uh, kind of put it together there. Um, uh, talking about playing on this world, uh, this is on a single player, so uh, at some point, um, maybe when we get to episode 50 or something, uh, I will actually open this world up on my server so that uh, if you would like, uh, I will uh, unwhite list the server and uh, you guys can come on here and check out everything we've done um, up to that point. Um, and I'll be on there so we can guys can we can play together. And uh, if you would like to play on a um, server with me, um, I would love to play on a mini game server um, like Mindplex or Hypixel. Uh, all you have to do is send me a private message through YouTube with your Skype name, and uh, we can uh, talk about playing sometime. 
uh, which would be awesome. I would love to play with uh, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to comment. I uh, do really appreciate it. But, uh, this will be the end of episode four. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.